I'm Joshua Graham here with Diggit and we're with Dr. Natasha Ferguson and the Treasure Trove Unit Officer. And we're here in Treasure Trove. So what's Treasure Trove? Here at Treasure Trove what we do is we liaise with members of the public and with archaeologists who have found um, archaeological artefacts in Scotland um, because it's your responsibility to report any artefacts that you have found um, and that means that, that um, rather than they being in private collections they can be available for everyone um, in museum collections across the country. Um, so we have things like these these leaflets. Uh, full colour. Full colour <laughs> leaflets and they tell you a wee bit about, about the treasure trove law because I, I know that, that when you talk about law and legislation it sounds it, it does sound quite unapproachable. Yeah. But what we're trying, what we always try and say is that, that when you are reporting an object, you're not losing that object. What you're doing is you're contributing to our understanding of Scotland's past and you're part of that, that contribution. If you want to send us objects or something, in the first instance, if you're not sure whether it should be reported, just get in touch with us by, by email um, and we can have a look at it and we can let you know whether it should come in or not. That's really good because last week uh, Diggett was down in Falkirk and we were near the Antonine Wall, and we talked to some volunteers there, and they found a couple of pieces of flint. Oh, great. So we uh -huh. brought those in for y'all, and I was hoping uh -huh. you could sort of show us the process, what happens when someone finds something sure. mm -hmm. and yeah. shows up on your doorstep. Great, let's do that. We have here the piece of flint uh, that you brought in to us. Um, so we've got two wee pieces here, um, which I would maybe describe as... as um, as a flake of um, of flint, and then we've got something here. It's a wee bit of a different colour. It's it's got quite white, which which probably means that it's been um, subject to high temperature, so it's been it's been burnt. The advice that I give to the people who did find it was to keep an eye out in that area to see if they find any other pieces of flint that that look like that, um, because it might be part of a wider larger assemblage. So if you go into museums all over Scotland, is there a chance that you'll see things that have been found just by citizens? Yes, yeah, so absolutely, yeah. And, and there's some museums who, who will do special exhibitions um, celebrating all the artefacts that have that have come through. And we, we know a few, um, Fife, for example, are doing the treasures found. And, uh, and, and some will have little small cases that they may be trying as much as possible. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Great, thank you.